When you create papers in Painter, they end up being stored in libraries. Uh, paper libraries have a .papers, .papers file extension. If you want to see some of them, you have to either use the paper mover or the open library. Let's check open library first. I'm going to come in here, say open library, and you can either add a library to the existing or load. We're going to load them. And you can see here I have several different paper libraries that have been created. We'll grab this one here, open it, and now if I click on the different papers, you can see that I have different papers here in the library. Okay. You can also get to that load dialog box from the paper selector off the tools palette. There's the open paper library. And on both the uh, papers and here, you can also do a restore default library. We'll do that. And it's going to say we're going to restore them to lose whatever's in the current one, which is cool. And now, again, we have the rest of the original papers that are found in Painter. You can also go into the Move, the Paper Mover here. And if I look at the Paper Mover, you have all of the papers that are in the current open library, which right now are Painter's papers. And right here you can see the file extension. If you're on a Mac, you may not be able to see that. I'm going to open one of the... Um, paper libraries. Again, we'll use the one that I created, and you can see the thumbnails here. So if you want one of those papers to be added to another library, you can just click, hold, and drag it over. And as soon as you drag it over, the change is made. That won't be... you cannot undo it. There's no control Z. So be careful about what you do here. Okay? So that's how to get around using the different libraries, at least the paper libraries, in Painter.